Ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang Practical Research to Module 6. Ang title ng Module 6 ay Research Conclusions and Recommendations. So, malaman nyo kung paano maggawa ng conclusion at saka maggawa ng recommendation. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, ang module na ito ay consists of two lessons. First, no, is Drawing Conclusion. Ang lesson 1 ay Drawing Conclusions. At saka, ang lesson 2 naman ay formulating recommendations. So, ito yung dapat ninyong malaban sa module na ito. Paano magawa ng conclusion at saka ng recommendation. Okay, so before that, before sa lesson 1, meron tayong pretest. Ang um, pretest na ito, isulat nyo lang sa malinis na papel, okay? So, lesson 1, drawing conclusion. So, sa drawing conclusion... So, nalaman nyo na sa module 5, no, na mer nakalap na ninyo yung mga data na gagamitin ninyo, nakuha na ninyo ang mga results na gather na ninyo. So, ready na kayo para sa conclusion. So, ang gagawin ninyo para sa conclusion is ito. No? Ano ba tong conclusion? What I need to know? A conclusion is an important part of your research study. So, conclusion are the precise statement that directly answers the statement research questions. So, dapat yung conclusion ninyo sasagot sa mga research questions ninyo or sa mga objectives ninyo. Huwag nyo yung kalimutan na ang conclusion ay ang pagsagot sa mga research questions or objectives ninyo. Okay? Precise statement that answers the statement research questions or your objectives. Okay? Do not forget that that is the conclusion. So, merong example dito sa activity. No? Gawa, gawa kayo dito para mas ma-enhance pa ninyo ang inyong knowledge on how to make a conclusion. Therefore, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, guidelines in writing research, writing your research conclusion. So, ano ba dapat ang mga dapat ninyong intindihin Bago kayo susulat ng conclusion, okay? So, first is avoid merely summarizing. Huwag lang kayo mag-summarize. Isulat ninyo yung mga simpleng detalye na magbibigay ng magandang explanation sa mga tanong ng inyong research questions, okay? Then, next, state your conclusion in a clear and simple language. Dapat... Wala masyadong mga technical words. Wala masyadong mga unfamiliar words. No? Dito, ang gagamitin nyo lang yung mga simple language. Okay? Kasi titingnan kasi ito ng mga ordinary yung mga tao. At kung mga unfamiliar words ang gagamitin ninyo, mga technical words, hindi yan ma-appreciate. Dapat klaro. Okay? Yung mga sinasabi ninyo. Do not just reiterate the discussion of your results. Huwag nyo lang ulit-ulitin, no? Paikot-ikot lang kayo sa punto ninyo. Provide a synthesis of arguments, no? Which will converge to, the, to address the research problem. Next is avoid using numeral, numerals, figures, or simply repeating the results. Huwag nyo lang ulit-ulitin yung mga numbers. Huwag lang yung, Dapat... Focus of this part of research paper is not presenting results. So, inferences and implications are emphasized. So, ano yung mga posibleng mangyari, mga implications, o mga paano, paano tayo maapektuhan nito. So, yan yung isusulat nyo. Huwag nyo lang isulat yung mga result. No? Number five is indicate opportunities for future research. So, highlighting the need for further studies. So, the, Dito, sa number 5 is, ma-highlight ninyo na mas maganda tong research ninyo, maganda ang research ninyo kasi, kasi pwede pang ma-develop, ma-enhance pa yung mga pangyayari o ma-develop yung mga problema, no? mabigyan ng mga solusyon. No? Indicate the need no for further studies. No? Studies for provide readers or evidence that you have an in-depth awareness of research problem. And research implications, so meron tayong mga research implication, no? First is practical implication. It also called as convenient implication. So, it is a realistic explanation of what your research findings might mean and fact that would arise in those circumstances were met. 
So, that's the practical implication. Paano tayo naapiktuhan nito, directly or indirectly? Ano ang pwede maidulot ito sa atin? Ano yung mga posibleng maging solusyon? Epektibo ba ito? Yan, no? Yung practical implication. Meron naman tayong tinatawag na theoretical implication. Ang theoretical implication naman is a statement that supports or contradicts a theory. Previous studies, findings, or creates something entirely new. So, sa theoretical implication, ito yung pag-agree or disagree ng mga outcome sa ibang research. No? For example, alam, alam, alam ko na meron kayong theoretical framework or mga review of related literature na same sa study ninyo, tingnan nyo yung outcome nila. Tingnan nyo yung conclusion nila. nag agree ba ang research ninyo sa research nila? So, kung nag agree isulat nyo dyan sa inyong theoretical implication na you, the outcome of your research adheres to the or agrees to the, uh, to the previous research of blah 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 so ganyan ang isulat ninyo sa theoretical application or pwede din dahil hindi siya nag-agree pwede kayong gumawa na since it does not adhere to the previous research it means that this research has something some some more to develop or meron siyang entirely new result okay so ito yung example so kung gagawa kayo ng conclusion mas maganda meron kayong ganito no first is title then next is research question career choice of study is that like, monito ito yung summary at ito yung susulat niyo na conclusion kailangan ito ang table na to para mas madali kayong sumulat ng conclusion kasi ang kung isusulat niyo sa conclusion ay ang sagot dito sa research question o yung objective niyo. Tapos gagamitin niyo yung summary dito yung conclusion. Okay? Mas madali kasi magkumuha na gumawa, gumawa ng conclusion kung alam mo yung research question, yung findings, of course yung title. So ganyan yung paggawa ng conclusion. So yan yung mga sample, ito yung mga sample. So Magsagot, sagutin nyo lang to para mas ma-enhance pa yung knowledge nyo sa paggawa ng conclusion. Okay? Dito na tayo sa lesson 2, formulating recommendations. So, in the previous lesson, you've learned how to draft your conclusion. So, based on the results and discussion in chapter 4. So, alam nyo na yung mga conclusion. So, dito sa recommendation, Recommendations can be described as a suggestion regarding the best course action to take as a result of your summary of findings and conclusion. So, madaling salita, magre-recommend kayo ng isang, ng isang um, programa na kung saan mas madali o maisusolba yung problema. Kasi yung ginawa yung research is problem solving kasi yan, no? Or meaning, um, nagbibigay impormasyon kung anong magandang gawin sa isang problema o sa isang pangyayari. So, ito yung recommendation. No? So, meron tayong two functions of recommendation. First is implications of your finding must identify the areas of concerns that needs to be addressed. Second is how can future studies address the limitations you encountered in your research. So, yan yung mga major um, purposes of the research recommendation. No? Yung implication niya ng study mo sa ibang, sa mga tao. No? Then, ano yung mga, yung mga areas na kailangan nyong i-address. No? Areas na kailangan ninyong i-address para mabigyan ng mas solusyon, mga solusyon. Then, how can future studies address the limitation of you, you've encountered? So, yan yung mga major purposes of the recommendation. Okay? Meron tayong activity. See, I'll recommend to you. So, you feel, no? ito yung mga sample activity para mas ma-enhance pa ang inyong kaalaman about writing recommendation. So, meron tayong sample. So, meron na kayong conclusion. So, ito yung recommendation ninyo. No? Gawa talaga kayo ng table na kagaya nito para mas madali na lang yung pagsusulat ninyo. Okay?
Okay, so these are all um, exercises no, to enhance your um, skills in writing a research recommendation. So, I think, no, na kailangan nyo talagang gawin yun. Gawin itong mga exercises na ito. So, meron tayong post-test. Okay, think that's it for the module 6 of Practical Research 2. Okay? Um, that's all. Thank you.